caused a massive wave that reached the height of the Statue of Liberty, which is measured at 93 meters high or 305 feet. The wave covered the entire city within seconds, and I began to see people and objects in the water while I was an onlooker above the water. It appeared then that the Statue of Liberty had been broken off, and that is how I knew that it was New York City. I was riding on a tricycle. Then suddenly it became very dark and people began to panic. I knew in my spirit that it wasn't a normal dark and I began to shout, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. But people were not interested. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings, one of the very first channels to bring dreams, visions, and near-death experiences visually to you. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. The very first dream that I will be sharing with you today was emailed in by an anonymous subscriber who wanted to share a very intense experience that she had. And in her email, it says, Hello, I had one dream in October of 2017 that was very surreal. It was a short vision that was quite intense. In this dream, I was floating above New York City and looked to be an observer, even though I was not directly in the city. I then noticed that there was a massive wave that reached the height of the Statue of Liberty, which is measured at 93 meters high or 305 feet. The wave covered the entire city within seconds, and I began to see people and objects in the water while I was an onlooker above the water. It appeared then that the Statue of Liberty had been broken off, and that is how I knew that it was New York City, because Lady Liberty was tumbling directly in the water. When I woke up from the dream, I was somewhat surprised by what had just taken place. I wasn't sure why I was in the dream or being shown this. I would like to believe that if this was just a vision of potentialities in the future, that this could just be prayed off. Most dreams I forget, but this one was different. However, this dream stayed with me and I have searched to understand if this was something that was symbolic or visionary. Over the last few years, I have found a few people who seem to have had almost the exact dream with different descriptions, but the same event and same place. It seemed impossible for this to be real. And in that, I don't know of any wave that could have that height. Hopefully this is symbolic in some way and will not come to pass. May prayers change the outcome. Thank you so much, Amber, from your sister in Christ. Thank you so much for sharing this intense dream because this very well could happen in the future. Thank you for taking the time to share this experience with me as well as a channel family. May God bless you. The next dream that I will be sharing with you today was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Cindy, where she shares with us her rapture experience. And in her email, it says, Hello, Amber. My name is Cindy, and I have a dream that I would like to share with you that occurred in October of 2022. 
My first dream had started off where I was with my husband and we were in a parking lot. I think that there was a train next to us, but I can't be positive. We were walking somewhere when we heard a very loud boom. My husband ducked behind a car and kept yelling at me to get down and hide. I wasn't scared at all. I was looking around and felt nothing but peace and curiosity. I was trying to figure out what was going on. I then turned and I looked towards the east and that is when I saw people that were disappearing. Something told me to look up and I saw that everyone who was disappearing was changing into the most beautiful orbs of light with the most beautiful rainbow color swirls inside of them. I stood there in such awe at how beautiful it was. I then looked down again and saw that people were still being taken up. My husband was still yelling at me to get down and I said, no, it's okay. It's the rapture. Look, it's so beautiful. He then looked and yelled that he couldn't see anything and that I needed to get down. I kept saying, no, it's okay. It's the rapture. And then I had woken up. This experience felt so real that I was even scared to open up my eyes. And I was so worried if I did, I wouldn't go. Then a voice said to quit being ridiculous. Thank you for everything that you do from your sister in Christ, Cindy. Thank you so much, Sister Cindy, for sharing this very encouraging experience with me. I will be sharing another one of her experiences soon on the channel. The next two experiences that I will be sharing with you in this video were emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Rowena, where she shares with us two very vivid and detailed experiences. And in her email, it says, Hello, Sister Amber. I am so thankful that we can count on you to share our dreams. I am very sorry for my English. It's not so good. I just wanted to ask you if you could please share these two dreams with the channel family. It was April of this year that I had my first dream and it started off where I was riding on a tricycle. Then suddenly it became very dark and people began to panic. I knew in my spirit that it wasn't a normal dark and I began to shout, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, but people were not interested. My second dream had started off where I was in a shopping mall and it was a beautiful day while people were busy. But then suddenly Jesus had came. Here is a scripture that I wanted to read in Matthew 24, 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Brothers and sisters, please repent while there is still time. Thank you again, Sister Amber, for sharing my dreams. May God bless you and your family from your sister in Christ. Rowena. Thank you so much, Sister Rowena, for sharing both of your experiences with the channel family. They were both so encouraging to read, and I am sure they will bless many who see your experiences today in this video. May God bless you and your family as well.